Yeah, right. Um, this is honestly just what starts to happen as we get a little bit older. You get a bit more achier, your bones hurt a bit more, especially when it's cold. Um, and there's not too, too much we can do for that other than obviously trying to stay warm. There are um, these electric, like heated blankets. Those are quite lovely. If you find that in the the middle of the night you're getting cold you can turn that on and it'll warm up especially around the knees the ankles those joints where it usually gets especially achy yeah okay yes there was mention of scoliosis on your file i do recall reading that how's that been treating you in the back right you've been having those pains yes lower back You know what I might recommend you? Have you ever seen an osteopath? Okay, because they can be really good. They are a bit pricier, but if you just go once, honestly, it'll be really helpful because they're sh they'll show you certain exercises to do. It's kind of like a little bit of... Think of like a chiropractor mixed with a doctor, mixed with a like rehab expert, muscle rehab, of course, and they'll show you some exercises to kind of help with the scoliosis, help with the pain and whatnot, some things that you can do to relieve that yourself instead of having to go and getting massages like you do, um, because those add up as well, right? And it can also be really difficult to get in. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a note to book you in with an osteopath. And are you still taking all of your current medications? Okay, why did you stop that one? Oh, okay. Good to know, yeah. If it's definitely giving you too bad of headaches, then we'll stop that one. Um, but I know that that was for one of your... Yes, exactly. I'm just trying to think if you stop that one, it might affect one of your other medications. How has your fit personal, but how's your stool been? Because that would honestly affect it. It's been fine. Okay, and have, has indig like, have you been digesting properly or has indigestion been an issue? No, okay. So you should be fine, um, but we are going to have to lower the dosage of your other medication. Yes, but just, just slightly, so let me just make note of that. Yes, because that, that medication that you stopped was to mitigate some of the other symptoms that you were having. And although you might not be having all of those now, which is great, you still are on quite a high dosage of your other meds. Yeah, the ones you take twice a day, so we just have to lower that dosage, okay? No, we'll still do twice a day because you're in that routine, we'll just... Has everything else been in terms of like skin, eyes? Are there any rashes I should be worried about? Any moles that you might have noticed have been growing, changing in size, blurry vision at all? Okay. On your shoulder. Do you mind just pulling down? That one is a tricky spot because of the sun, right? Are you still out in the sun a lot? Or... Mm. And the summertime, definitely gardening, barbecues, of course. But yeah, so that one is a tricky spot. Are you remembering to put sunscreen on it all the time? Okay, yeah, you really have to be careful with that one. If you notice it has like changed in size a little bit, it's grown a bit, yeah. Have they ever done like testing before on it? No. Okay, so what we're gonna do then, we'll do some testing on it. I think that's our best bet because if it is anything, I'm not saying that it is, but if it is, we want to get that checked earlier than later, right? Exactly, so let's do some testing on that. And that's your left shoulder. No, not today. We'll book a separate appointment at that because we'll have to do some numbing and everything. Yeah. Okay. 
guys have been fine? A little bit on this side. It's just the left side, hey? <laughs> now, I, I have that as well. I have, um, my left eye is lazy and I have really bad astigmatism in my left eye, so my left side isn't my best. <laughs> We're in the same boat. Yeah. Okay. So just more of like a slight leg, maybe. Right, I'll take a look at your eyes for sure. Um, but what we'll do is, when was your last optometrist appointment? Okay, that was a while ago. So I think it's time we book you in for another one just to do a checkup, okay? And usually those are covered by government every two years. You usually get like 300 every two years or so, right? So hopefully we can take a look at that. Um, if I notice anything really grave, then I'll make a note of it, of course. But otherwise, we'll just remember to book you in for an optometrist appointment. Yeah, I know it's never fun having to look at that like little house and be like, I'm um, blurry, not blurry, blurry, not blurry. <laughs> exactly. And otherwise, skin is okay, right? How's breathing? We'll check on all of that, but if anything else comes to mind, then do let me know. Hearing's been okay both sides. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Well, we'll take a look at everything to your reflexes. Um, I'll just have you scooch up a little bit and we'll both get a bit more comfortable. Okay, so first and foremost, we will take your blood pressure. I'll just do your right arm here. I know this is usually people's least favorite part, that's why I try and get it out of the way first. Okay, how's that? Is that comfortable? Okay, good. Just going to do this here. Especially for, for your age and what you're on with your medication, so that's not too bad at all. I know it's pretty uncomfortable, but like I said, try to get it out of the way first. Okay, so I'm just making out of that. Blood pressure. Okay, good. Alrighty, and I do want to check your breathing, okay? So do you mind just taking off? Here, pull over. Do you have anything under? Okay, good. Yep. T-shirt will work. Perfect. Good. Okay. So I just want you to breathe in and out for me. You know this by now, okay? Breathe in. Out. Good. In. saying that it does sound like there's a little bit of fluid. Um, were you sick recently? Or... Okay. Okay, so it could just be then that you have a bit of like leftover phlegm. Do you find that when you're coughing there's some fluid like phlegm? Yeah, what color is it? Okay. Were you put on antibiotics for that when you got sick? Or just tried to let it pass. 
Okay, I might put you on a really light dosage of antibiotics then because if it is green, then that is a sign that there's still some infection left. So we'll just try to fully kill that off, okay? Um, antibiotics. And it was just the cough you're having. Yeah. How did you take a test? Okay. So we've rolled that out. Yeah. And if it's just that and it's been for a few months now, then it's likely just like the phlegm. It can be, sometimes it can be hard to get rid of, especially if you haven't done an antibiotic. So we'll do that. But I'll just make note that you need to take more probiotics for the following week while you're on the antibiotics because it kills all the bacteria, right? And we'll need to get some good bacteria in you. So honestly, just some yogurts. There are some supplements, like some probiotic supplements you can take, but yogurt should be fine. Yeah. Okay, good. If you don't mind yogurt, then that's the easiest way and a lot cheaper. Okay, so let's do that then. Good. Okay. Now, we won't do this now, but um, prior to you leaving, I will need you to do a B sample, okay? Because the last time we have, when we did your B sample was... You actually didn't do your annual checkup last year, right? Oh, how is that? Oh, I've always wanted to go. I've heard it's so beautiful. Well, I mean, good excuse to miss the annual checkup, I will say that. Um, but since you haven't, we will just do a urine sample just to check everything, see how all of that's going, okay? And you know, you know the drill for this, right? It's been a while. Okay, I'll jog your memory, so... Of course, we have the sterile seal here. So once you get in the washroom, and only when you are in the washroom, you are going to unlock it, and it's going to break the seal, okay? Of course, you're going to be in the cup, and we only need about one, one ounce, okay? Um, some people fill it up all the way, but if you can only get like to here, that's fine. We just need a little bit for the testing. And then in there, there will be pens, okay? There'll be a dirty tray and a clean tray. So there'll be a clean tray of pens. You'll just write your name, okay? And the date. Yes, name and date. And then you'll put the pen in the dirty tray. And then there'll be a fridge beside the toilet. And you'll just put it in there. Of course, I can go through it again before you go um, pee, and just to jog your memory, right? But we'll give you a bit of time to have to pee. <laughs> yeah, normally people go in the waiting room, so I do that one at the end. Okay, good. So I just want to feel along your neck, okay? Yeah. Just see how everything is doing there, and I'll, then I'll take a look. Take a look at your eyes, ears, mouth, all of that good stuff. We'll do reflexes. Yeah. And are there any other moles that we need to take a look at? Okay. I'll take a look at it as well. Okay. Good here. Okay. I'm just going to be feeling underneath the neck, okay? So just head up for me. Swallow. Good. Swallow again. Okay. Do you find you have any jaw pain at all? Okay. Any trouble swallowing at all? Just those clumps of phlegm, yeah. Okay. That does seem to be all good. I'm just going to take a look inside your mouth, okay? for me and stick out your tongue. Good. Okay. Tonsils removed. Right, yeah. Okay. Bit wider. Good. Okay. Now I can actually see back there that you do have a few little tonsil stones. Okay, so tonsil stones, um, they can be quite common. I do. 
do see that you do have a couple little tonsil stones just in the back there. Now these are quite common. Have you had these before or know what these are? Oh, no, they're not that serious. No, no, no. Um, don't have to remove your tonsils. It's actually quite hard to get your tonsils removed nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Nobody really likes to do the procedure, um, if I'm being frank. But tonsil stones aren't serious at all. It's just usually the main side effect is like bad breath. But your tonsils, um, they almost have these little pouches and sometimes food debris and whatnot can get stuck in them. Okay, so just when you're brushing, you can almost like push a little bit on it with your toothbrush and they'll pop right out, okay? And they'll be hard and if you smell them, they'll be very stinky. So maybe don't do that, especially if you get nauseous easily. Um, but yeah, just throw them away down the drain or whatever. There's not too much you can really do to prevent tonsil stones other than gargling with like a mouthwash, making sure you're keeping up with your uh, like toothbrush, like, uh, uh, I mean, what's the word? Buying a fresh one is what I mean. Yes, like every three months, replacing your toothbrush, three, four months, um, keep making sure you're brushing two to three times a day even course and flossing as well. Just making sure that you're really having good oral hygiene is going to help prevent that. Yeah. Yeah, then if you already do those things, then I would say um, add in a mouthwash because you don't do that, right? Okay, yeah, I'd say just adding in a mouthwash and gargling will also help loosen any of that up and it should come up. Yeah, okay. So that's good there. I'm happy about that and at this point, we can take a look at your eyes. Might as well, right? Sure. Okay, let's do that. I'm just gonna take off this glove here so that you can follow the light, okay? So, what I'm gonna have you do is I've got my flashlight here, and first I'm just gonna take a look at your eyes, and then I'll have you follow the light, okay? Because we're gonna see if the, this one's lagging a bit. So first, I just want you to look up into the corner of the room for me. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look at your eyes there, okay? Okay. I'm just gonna take a look with my magnifying glass as well, just to really see. be a little bit tricky. Take a minute. Let your eyes relax. Yeah, I know. But it'll be worth it. Yes. Okay, ready? We're gonna do the other side now, but same eyes, so just look this way. looking fine, like in terms there's no cloudiness, which is a really good sign. Um, so I'm going to definitely take out like cataracts or anything like that being an issue. Um, but I do think that it just could be, you know, as you get older, your eyes get a bit weaker. So you might just be developing a bit of a lazy eye is all, which happens. Okay. So it's nothing to be too worried about. We could just get you a um, prescription glasses because you don't have any now. Okay. So at night, you're just using readers, yeah. So if we get you something that has a little bit uh, more of a prescription, especially for this eye, it'll just help. And then I think that'll also help with your headaches, right? Because even though I do think 
believe that was a side effect of the medication, which it is. Um, I think in general that'll just help you with your headaches, yeah. Now I do want to take a look at the other eye, so same thing, just look that way for me. Obviously, the optometrist will be able to give you more detailed description of everything and how it's looking in terms of eye health and if you need glasses, a stronger prescription for that eye. But just in terms of basic eye health, it's looking good. I do want to have you follow the light though, just so I can see the extent of the leg, okay? So I'm just going to have you follow the light. Good. Follow the light. Good. Keep following the light. Good. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Okay. Just gonna go in a circle as well. And then a bit faster, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Good. You're doing really good. Yeah. It'll be a bit strenuous on the eyes, but you are doing well. Especially when I'm going from the left to right, my left, your right, you know, back and forth. That's when I do really notice the leg trying to keep up. Um, but when I'm going up and down as much, I don't see the issue, which is a good sign, okay? So it's not lagging too much, but I do just see it slightly trying to keep up when we're going back and forth. So uh, I will make note of that. Just the back and you find that as well? Does, do you find that it gets tired at night? You have trouble keeping that eye open? No? Okay, well that's a good sign then. So just put the back and forth. Okay, good. Lovely. Now I do just want to take a look at your uh, mole there. And you set the mole on your arm, right? Okay, so I'll first just start with the mole on your arm. What's been the main concern here? Right. Okay, so it is normal for moles to have hair, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, in terms of the shape, it looks fairly regular. Um, and in terms of the texture, I'm not too worried about that. Moles are normally raised as well. 
but um, if it is just bugging you, we can always remove it, right? Now, the only thing is when you do get a mole removal that isn't uh, medically backed, for example, like that one on your shoulder, if we test it and we find anything and we need to get it removed, that would be covered. But if it's just for cosmetic purposes, like you just want to get a mole removed because you don't like it, you don't like the feel of it, then that you will have to pay out of pocket for. I know, I know. So, this to me looks fairly normal, okay? Honestly. So, what we'll do is we'll just keep track of it. Like, the next time you come in, we'll take a look at it. And if it grows, or if it's growing an abnormal amount of hair, changing in size, changing in color, then we'll definitely test it, okay? And if you notice any of those things, you can take photos, and you can always book it just want to take a look at the one on your shoulder there. Do you mind just turning slightly for me? Thank you. Good. Just take a look here. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see this one, it is almost starting to, like, it almost looks melted a little bit is how you can describe the outer edges. It's not like a rounded mole. It does have a more wavy outer. Do it like the outside there. It's just like, yeah, the outline is a little bit off there. Yeah. I also noticed though, you do have a lot of sun damage on your shoulders as well in terms of just like freckles and everything. Freckles, yes, and the sun damage. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I am more concerned about that one then because shoulders get a lot more sun. And this one on your arm, I mean, it's not as bad, but just your shoulders are quite bad. So yeah, I'd be more concerned about, yeah. Okay, let's definitely get that test. I'm going to see as soon as I can get you in for that one. You can move forward again there. Good. Let me just see. I think we're going to try and get you in next week. Yeah, for that one. And we can do it here and I can do it, okay? Yeah, I think, I think we just need to get it done. I just have, it's, the clinic is so busy, right? I know. I know. We really do need more doctors, but better care from the government for us and you, right? Yeah, it could be hard. Okay. Um, I know. Right? You have to book a doctor's appointment like six months in advance, but I do need to get you in next week So I'll see what I can move around and if I have to stay a bit longer then I'll have to stay a bit longer because I am concerned about that one Okay, so if I can't would it be fun if one of my colleagues did that for you? Would you be comfortable with that? If they have any openings because people do cancel their appointments and whatnot but Yeah Okay, good to know so Okay, well, with that being said, I think it's time we take a look at your ears, okay? So I've got my handy dandy little tool here. I'm gonna take a look inside, okay? And you said you haven't been any trouble, haven't had any trouble hearing or anything. It's been relatively fine, okay? So let me just take a look then. Good, I'll just have you. are you using to clean your ears? Okay, just be really careful with those. They are common to use, but um, you are just really pushing the wax farther back, okay? Although I do say that your ears look relatively clean, so that's a good sign, but just be careful, okay? You never go in too far with the So just going to do a little sound test as well and see how that goes, okay? 
okay? So just let me know when the sound stops for you, okay? Okay, good, good. And we'll just do it one more time and just kind of hum until the sound stops with it, okay? pretty good yeah <laughs> honestly your hearing is really really good um we get a lot of people who come in here especially as you get older you know your hearing can kind of go downhill it just happens but they'll be like no my hearing is completely fine I'm like you're yelling at me <laughs> okay so let's just take a look at your other side here good there we go okay Do you see that this side, there's a bit more wax? Okay, so this one is looking a bit more congested. Yeah, do you find that you sleep on this side normally? Okay, that could definitely have something to do with it, yeah. Okay. Do you wear headphones at all? Not really. You actually just have a little bit of some wax there, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little tool just to get it out, okay? Because I'd rather get it out now while you're here than have to wait or have you try and do it at home and hurt yourself. Because it can be so easy to pierce that eardrum, I would not believe. So, open up my handy dandy tool kit. I'll just take a closer look, okay? So I do have here my light. I'll take a look. Okay. Part of me. Oh, this weekend, not too much, honestly. Probably just trying to catch up on sleep. Right. and then they don't replace the batteries. It's fine, I've got this light here, so we're good. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with a little tool here just to kind of loosen up the uh, gunk, okay? So you can take a look. It's just this little, almost like scalpel. And I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to kind of scoop it into the center so that I can like pull it out, okay? So sometimes Q-tips can be great at just kind of getting that outer bit, especially like around the sides here where uh, debris can get stuck, right? On the back of your ear, but you want to make sure that you're not pushing it in farther, which is the issue with Q-tips. So that's why I um, just thought I'd get that out for you now because that can be tricky to do yourself. Yeah. No problem. My pleasure, right? What am I here for? 
so we'll have you move back to the center but otherwise you're doing good then i'm just gonna do the same little hearing test on this side okay so just close your eyes and tell me when the sound stops Um, until it stops again. Okay, ready? Okay, good. Very, very good. Lovely. Okay, so hearing is all great there. <laughs> it's making me proud. Alrighty, now I do just want to do a little bit of a sort of skin test around the face. Now this is kind of new that we're doing, but it's supposed to be good at testing for certain skin illnesses, um, muscle issues, because it basically helps us determine where you're feeling in your face is at, right? So some people who get a lot of Botox or stuff done in their early years, um, they have a lot of bit of a lot of trouble with this test because their muscles are just too relaxed. Their muscles just don't work as well anymore because of all the Botox. Just kind of atrophied. So this helps us. Oh, I can hear some people coming into the clinic. Sorry. Um, this helps us determine if there's anything that we needed to do, any medications, any procedures, okay? Because we don't want part of your face to just not work anymore, right? So have you had any work done in your earlier years that we should be aware of? Okay. Forehead. Yeah, that's pretty common. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got a few little tools, okay? Are you allergic to feathers at all? Okay. Some people are, you'd be surprised. Okay, so I've got these tools here. So you're gonna tell me if it's sharp or dull, okay? So this is what sharp feels like, okay? And this is what dull feels like. Okay, so you just tell me if it feels sharp or dull. Okay, so just close your eyes and just let me know, okay? really good sensitivity around the eye area. That's really good. We're just going to do a bit more around the mouth, okay? Good. There you go, yes. I know. Sounds like there's a bit of a windstorm out there. When you came into clinic was it windy out yeah rainy okay good good just always gets a bit dangerous when it's windy and rainy on the roads right but just windy out yeah okay nose now
did really well with that. Really impressed. I do just want to take, take a little bit closer of a look at the skin on your shoulders, okay? So, just let me relax. You can just stay put there. I do just want to do a little bit of the dull and um, sharp dust on your shoulders, okay? So you can just close your eyes again and remind you. Okay. Do the other side here. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so that is a little bit more of a concern because I'm going to be honest, you got most of that wrong. So we will definitely do some testing on that on that mole and I'll see you in as soon as possible, okay? But there's nothing to do about it right at this very second, so let's not worry for now, right? And rather let's take a look at your reflexes, okay? So just have you relax your arms, okay? Ready? Good. Other side. Good. Okay. Have you to your knees as well. So just relax. Again. There we go. I'm getting to this side. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's get that perfect spot. Okay. So reflexes are doing good. I'm going to make note about the dull and sharp test. She was more so on the shoulders. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Good to know. Okay, lovely. So, alrighty. So, with all of that being said, though, that's really all we've got to do for your annual checkup, right? So, we'll go over everything. Over everything. We checked your breathing and your blood pressure. Good on your eyes, and I'll make a note that you should see an optometrist soon here. We've taken a look at your skin and done the dull and sharp test. We've taken a look at your ears and tested those. We've taken a look at your throat and your mouth. Okay, tonsil stones are the main concern for that, but not a big issue. We've taken a look at uh, your reflexes, right? And we've taken a look at your breathing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we've checked up on your medication and everything. Is there anything you'd like a refill on? Okay, need a few more of those. Okay, that's all I do. A refill on that. And we need a lower dosage of your current twice a day meds. Okay, and then we've got your, um, I'm just going to put everything on here so that you know, okay? I'm going to do the optometrist checkup. I'm going to follow up with you within a couple days time 
for a follow-up appointment for that uh, mole, okay, for testing. So, follow-up for the mole testing, okay. And then, what else did we want to do? When's the last time you've been to the dentist? Okay, so that's fine. We're good there. We're good for hearing. We're gonna do the checkup on the mole. Okay. Oh, okay. Have you used that before? Right. Okay, we can definitely get you a refill of that then. So, that's at the back of the scalp. Do you want me to take a look? just be dandruff, but it could also be like forming form of eczema uh, or more of a fungal issue with the scalp. So, no harm in taking a look while you're here, right? Okay, let's just see. I'm just going to go a little bit above you here. Okay, then you said it's about back here more. a little bit worse than you anticipated just because it is already starting to scab, okay? So it's not only flaking, but it is scabbing a little bit. Could be a little bit of dermatitis, honestly. Have you struggled with that previously or eczema before? Oh, I just said it's dandruff, eh? It does look a bit more serious than that. Mm-hmm. So I don't think a refill on that is actually going to help. I think you need a bit more, almost a medicated. So what I'm going to recommend to you is Polytar. Polytar is uh, over the counter, okay? So you can get it at usually like Walmart and it's affordable, okay? So this is your best option first and foremost, right? Try and save a little bit. And that's going to really help you use that for about two, three weeks and you should see it clear up. If it doesn't, then we'll take another look and we'll try and prescribe something else, maybe something a bit more serious. But poly jars are the best way to start, okay? Yes, and it's not too harsh and it's affordable, so we'll do that. And then you want to get a mouthwash for the tonsil stones. Remember, they're not serious. Okay, and all of that. So I'm just gonna sign off on that. You can take those to get filled, okay? And then I also just wanted to have you pee in that cup, remember? Okay, yes, I'll go over it again just one more time. So, right, you've got the safety seal here. Crack that open. Go to the washroom, okay? Um, in the cup, you only need to fill out, fill up about this much. Do you have to go now? Fill it up just, I'd say max too, okay? Don't have it overflow because then it can get messy for you as well. Um, you know, wipe up as you need to and then you're going to put your name and the date, okay? There'll be the clean jar of pens and the dirty tray of pens. Clean pen, write your name and date, put in the dirty tray and then you can put this in the fridge beside the toilet, okay? Yes, of course, so I'll leave that with you. And in the meantime, I am going to check and see if I can get you a follow-up appointment for that mole, okay? And then I will meet you at the front. Yeah. Okay, sounds good, because I'll try and get you booked in with the reception. Okay, lovely. Of course, it was lovely to meet you as well. Yes. Oh, many annual checkups to come. <laughs> Yeah, bathroom is just the first door on your left, right? Okay. Perfect. Yes. Good, so... Just see here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 
are just going to the washroom to do their urine sample. Do you mind just asking uh, William if he has any time next week? I know, I know we're all so busy, but do you mind just please asking? I think he's in room seven. Thank you. Pardon? If that's easier, sure, just have him come here. Okay. Sorry, I know you're with the patient. I just, my patient has um, a really bad mole, and I did the dull and sharp test on them on their shoulders, and it did not go good. So I'm just wanting to get them in to test this mole, do some skin testing. But I'm completely booked next week because I have that surgery. Yeah, so I was just hoping that you could do that with them at some point. I'll owe you one. I will owe you one. I know. It shouldn't take long. You can hopefully still take like a half day. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wednesday? I think I'll, I think 11.30, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. And then you'll still be in time for lunch. Thank you. Thank you so much. I owe you one. I owe you one. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye now. Thank you. I know. I can hear the wind. It's terrible. <laughs> right? Okay, good. 